Hi. Dear Dina, I'm in a horrible situation and I don't know what to do. My best friend of many years works with my brother-in-law. They work long hours together and have been out of town for a project. I started to get some suspicions that maybe something was going on between them, but then I thought I was being paranoid or just imagining it. They returned from being on a work trip uh, for two weeks and I had dinner with my friend. She was acting weird and just she things she said about the work trip didn't make sense, so I had those red flags go up any time his name came up. I don't even know what exactly prompted me, but I just asked her, did something happen between you and my brother-in-law? She turned bright red and she didn't even have to say anything. Then I asked her what happened and she told me that they slept together, not once, not twice, but three times. I felt sick because she's my ride or die. Now what do I do? Do I tell my sister? Do I tell my brother-in-law? I know. Do I end a 25-year friendship? I don't know what to do. Sign knows the ugly truth. I reading this and hearing it. I had to make a copy. You know, a lot of times Danny just reads it and we just kind of figure it out and I, you know, I do read it ahead of time but not not much. We don't have a lot of time to prepare. You know, this is kind of like off the cuff first thing that comes into our mind. I needed a little time to think about this. And after thinking about this, I'm still very, very, very deeply, deeply disturbed, disturbed because what happened is awful. So many relationships impacted by this. It was an act of lust for sure. She's put you now in a position where you have to choose your family over your friendship. Neither one is good. I think that you need to tell your friend to come clean. She has to be the one that, that comes clean. She has to be the one that tells your sister. I mean, obviously the brother-in-law knows a little too well. Um, and you'll need to maybe pause the friendship until this happens. I mean, I, I, Danny, I am like really disturbed in my spirit by this. You're mm. going to need to forgive her too, by the way. That does not mean that you're excusing her action. I mean, you have sisters. Mm. What would this be like for you? Yeah, no, I, I couldn't be friends with somebody who did that because that's, a, that's, that's affects me. Right. Right. So you're really, you're really not thinking about anything other than the moment, which is terrible. Yes. And, um, shame on both of them. Yes. The brother-in-law. Yes. Totally at fault as well. Um, and I think the sister should know. As a sister, Absolutely. I would tell my sister. I would, would you make the friend tell? I, I don't care what the friend would do. Okay. I wouldn't. They obviously don't have any ethics or morals, so I would not rely on the friend to tell. I'm sorry you're listening. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just it's not. Well, no, the person that's writing is the is oh, affected. That's true. It's that's not true. not that's the person true. who had right, the right, affair, right? Right. right. So, as a sister, mm -hmm. I would tell my sister that this this is knowledge that I have right now. Do you right kind of now. have that understanding? I only have a brother, so and I would totally tell my brother, but relationships are different that way. Like, do you have this understanding if you know something that is detrimental to the relationship, the family, that you automatically tell that person? I don't know if it's a rule. Okay. I just, it's out of respect for sure. my sisters. Uh, if I knew that information, I would say something in a gentle as possible way. Sure. But, uh, you know, you don't want that knowledge to go any longer because when it does come out and it always does it always, does. You're right. it always it comes always out does. your sister is going to be like well how why long have you know yeah, no right me? so yeah i am sorry. so sorry that you're going through this it's awful it's awful it's awful yeah it's just terrible anyway dear dina if you've got something you're going through we'll bounce around some ideas we're here to support you we are here for you click on it at key103radio.com